I'm Deborah Borchardt and this is your Marijuana Money Minute. The big news this week, of course, was the acquisition of acreage holdings by Canopy Growth in a deal valued at $3.4 billion. However, the deal won't be fully complete until cannabis is legal in the U.S. Now, following approval from shareholders, Acreage will immediately get $300 million, and that is expected roughly in June. Ultimately, they're going to get access to Canopy's Tweed and Tokyo smoke brands as well. Acreage president George Allen will be leaving the company immediately, and CEO Kevin Murphy will take over as president. Acreage also entered the Nevada market this week with its acquisition of Deep Roots Medical. That brings the company's state footprint up to 20 states, and makes it the largest cannabis company in the U.S. NASDAQ finally approved a U.S.-based cannabis-related company to list on its marketplace. Vape distributor Green Lane Holdings upsized its IPO and priced the shares at $17. That was above its planned range of $14 to $16. And the stock jumped over 35% in trading on its first day. It's using the symbol GNLN. The company reported revenue of $178 million in 2018. Afria reported its earnings this week with revenue of $73.6 million for the third quarter. That was up 617% from the prior year, but they still reported a net loss of $108 million. And they once again reminded their shareholders that they wanted to reject the green growth acquisition. Afria also priced $300 million in convertible senior notes this week. Horizons ETF announced that it was launching a U.S.-based cannabis ETF that began trading on Thursday using the symbol HMUS. And Iantha said it's going to start selling CBD for Life products in the retail chain Urban Outfitters. Of course, hey, it is the big 420 celebration this weekend. This year, April 20th, falls on a Saturday for the first time and coincides with Easter and Passover. Now, all of the data providers are projecting big sales on Friday and Saturday, as many dispensaries are running promotions and states where it's legal are hosting events. Hey, if you have not already done so, you gotta go get your tickets now for the Green Market Summit in Chicago on May 7th. We have a great lineup. We're going to be covering cannabis hiring and recruiting by Creston Management. We are going to be looking at hemp market pricing by cannabis benchmarks ahead of potential futures trading this year. And a big look at the vape business with Slang, Slang CEO, Peter Miller. And that's it for this week. There is no market trading on Friday. The markets are closed. I'm Deborah Borchardt reporting for the Green Market Report. Have a happy 420, a happy Easter, and a happy Passover, everyone.